and away we go. Anthony had specialty motor cars here. Uh, going back to reclaim, hopefully reclaim, two vehicles that I had previously sold uh, once before. Uh, I sold these cars two different occasions, a couple years apart. Haven't seen them in a while. Very good customer of mine, and uh, I'm excited to see these cars again. Two almost identical cars, but here we are. Let's take a look. One of them probably back in 2015. The other one I think about 16, just before I adopted my daughter. So excited to see these cars again. This one was a 19. 95, let's see here. I just came the keys. Been sitting up a bit. 1995 Lincoln Town Car. <sighs> Don't know how many miles are on it. But we're going to jump it. So we get keys for this one. Silver or gray leather. And car number two. Is a silver gray leather signature series Lincoln Town Car. What's on earth? This was the backup car. I think when I sold her the first one, she liked it so much. She wanted the second one. But also has been sitting for a bit. No plates. Let's see what we got for keys here. Also probably dead as well. Yep. So let's jump this one too. This one, yeah, pretty well loaded. Gray leather. They're almost twin cars, really. They're just one is a signature. And one has uh, is an executive series. So Stickers ran out back in 2020. Looks like I need a little bit of paint. Get the jump pack on one of them. That's a new van right there. Actually, we'll go into the other side. The other side first. Get the pack situated here. I think if I remember. Oh, we get power. Could be why one of the batteries went dead. I think this car had like 57 or 50. Yep, that's definitely why the battery went dead. 57 or 58,000 miles. And I sold it. And you can see here. Um, my friend Chris, she's handicapped, so she outriggered both cars with, you know, hand controls. Um, but now she's unfortunately in tougher shape. Let's see what we got for miles. Oh, wow. 60,000. Oh. We'll start it up. Ooh. So a little spark jump there. Ow! That thing hurts your knee. See if we can get a connection there. Yeah, that positive was a little. I'll try that again. I'm gonna pump this car right back up. Nope. Try that again. The lights are on again. Oh, there goes the air pump. <sighs> light the real light bar. Um, 
maybe it won't. And this one is pumping up. Just took a little while. I remember I put these continental white walls on this car. So what does this thing have for miles? Sounds good too. Oh wow. Let's see, 60,600, so that means she hadn't put more than, geez, hadn't put more than what, 3,000 3, miles? At about 58, yeah, two, two 3,000 miles. Signature series, get all the switches nice and clean. Is that how I sell them? This one does have a sunroof. JBL sound system. So the one downfall, I've, I took a couple cars in trade from her once. The one downfall with these things, obviously it damages the steering wheel or leaves impressions. This is removable, I believe, without, oh, no, they did, they notched a section out here. So, I'll have to get a new panel for that. Still got my carpet marks. <laughs> she did put a wheelchair in the back. That was one of the things she had to do, but that's just like a smudge. Doesn't look like there's much damage. Some impressions, but nothing crazy. Take this off. I just popped open the truck here. Yeah, you can tell how long this thing's been sitting. It's got some cobwebs. Size spare it does have some scratching on the top of the trunk, but I think a really good wet sand and paw. I'm gonna go over and try to start the uh, executive up. This one, Let's see if we can't get this one started up. Put the old pack on it. Ooh, that's a little, little uh, uh, corrosive there. Get any power. No power. Try that again. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Oh, there we go. This car, I think this was a '95, and I think this car had less miles on it, if I remember right. This car had about 30 or 40,000. Tape works. I'll eject that or something, I don't know. I don't even know how to do that. Well, this one's because she put some miles on this one, 72. Come on, come on. Here we go, yeah, that's a 95. This is 95. Uh, I don't know, how do you eject a cassette on one of these things? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, eject. Do, do, do. That's what I mean when the buttons don't stay in. This one's gonna pop up too, I think. Walls have been curved up a bit. Still pretty clean. Silver, silver. We pop that trunk. 
Got a full size spare. Oh, that's an old school XW4 there, brand new. Pull down still works. You can see here, this is what I mean by 95, so I have this nice felt. These are outlined in chrome. A little beat up here, I think again, she put her wheelchair in here, so I'd have to try to find some of this trim. This should be able to find even something like this here, this wood trim. But we can get it cleaned up, I think. And it pumps right back up again. A couple little marks in the bumper. <sighs> I need two steering wheels. Crazy thing is, and the sad thing is, is Every time I sold her one of these cars, she traded something in. She traded a grand marquee in once. Actually, for the car in the other room there, which is crazy to think, she traded in a 2010 town car, like 50,000 miles, for that because she loved this vintage town car so much. Um, and I remember when I when she traded them, it had the hand controls on all you know that and the grand marquee. And I said, oh, I'll take them out, and you can have them reinstalled. Well, the places that install these will not reuse old equipment. I'm like, really? Like, seriously? Too much of a liability, which I guess I can kind of understand. But this stuff, as simple as it is, a, you know, a hand, you know, a knob for a steering wheel and all this stuff down here. All that stuff is like thousands of dollars. And I really felt bad. So the last two cars that she had, she traded when she bought this one and the silver one uh, about a year apart. I took this off and I donated them to people who couldn't afford them, but obviously probably a little bit of a liability for me to do that. Uh, I didn't install them. I gave them the equipment and had them, you know, bring it somewhere to install, but I'm sure that's probably the biggest cost that they up the cost is on the equipment. So this one's got 72,000, almost 73,000 miles. This one she definitely used a little bit more um, than the other one when I soul of the other one i remember she said she was buying the other one as a backup car because she liked this one so much and she liked this vintage so now i have to figure out what i want to pay for these cars <clears throat> this one everything is running good over here sunroof still works Obviously, I want to give her as much as I can for these cars. Um, the silver one in there definitely needs a lot more work than this one. You know, she hasn't put many miles on it, but like stuff like this, I mean, where are you going to find a replacement steering wheel that looks good in a 60,000 mile car? I can find stuff like this. The wheel is probably going to be the hardest. This one isn't as beat up. Uh, seats are in nice shape. Uh, you know, missing a little cap there and a little broken trim piece there, but I can definitely fix that. Paint's a little scratchy up here too, but I think her light wet sand and polish, I think will bring this car back quite nicely. Uh, it's got, you know, good tires on. I know I put these tires on this car. Day code, yeah, back in 2016. These are continental white walls. I don't know if they make those ones anymore. And, well, made them an offer and bought both cars. So we'll come back next week. Damn. Time to go Holy collect. Cow. Holy cow. That's not the house either. No? No. What are we going to collect in this beautiful neighborhood? Two old Lincoln Town cars of two Lincolns. We come back from Arkansas and I already got Papa Bear picking up more. You remember these cars? Yeah. That was the second one. This was the first one I sold her. I didn't look at the mileage on that one. That one's got about 60 on it. 61? Yeah. This one she put a lot of driving on. But Two silver bullets. Yeah. Alright, let's go. We'll come back for one in a little bit. 
Let's, yeah, we'll take this one now. <clears throat> 72. What was that? I just saw a battery light flash. That was kind of concerning. Next service is due at 77. We'll come back for your other Silver Lincoln. Need some brakes. I think even just from sitting in the garage. Yeah, I might clean up, but we'll check it out. Feels like I might have a blown shock or something on that side, too. It's really bouncy over there. The Papa Bear behind me in my little truck. So this thing, this is a weird setup here. You push in for brakes. And down. Yeah, that's what it is can't do it and hold the camera at the same time but down for gas in for brakes jeez that's sketchy whoa baby yeah it's got to definitely be something blown out in that front shark or something Drives good though. Maybe it's a tire or something. No, it's probably a shock. Sixty thousand miles. Cobwebby. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. It's down is the brake. Down is brake and then down, down is gas. Oh yeah, I see. One hand there. controls both. Wow. You follow me? Yeah, I'll follow you. All right. No heated seats. So 96, they kept this carpet, did away with the chrome Lincoln insignia. Changed the cluster a little bit for the climate control. Otherwise, it's pretty similar. Oh, and then 95 and I think 96 are this wood trim where the other ones didn't. It did pop a check engine light. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with us. Oh, look at that. Still got the uh, home link. Switch has been replaced. The switches in these are very common to break. And from the factory, they were all the same you know, color of the car gray, yellow, red, whatever, interior cream, whatever the interior color was. When you see a black one, you know it's been replaced. But they don't, I don't think they make those anymore. Thankfully, I have extras. This one's got the JBL sound system. Uh, same controls. If anybody out there in the old YouTube world, you know, thinks they could use this, or know somebody I don't mind donating it or giving it away or whatever but obviously I'm not gonna install it for anybody and I don't want to be liable for anything either but we'll take number two home this one needs probably the least a few little bits here and there cleaning up mirror 
But uh, yeah, good to be back. And she made it home perfectly fine. This is a real nice piece. Gonna get this one cleaned up. Do a bit of TLC. Get the ugly bro ham. Get those steering wheel controls out. Gonna have to find a panel here for this. You can see they cut a hole in it there, but we'll get those removed. And yeah. Like always, guys, appreciate all the love and support. Hit that like button, subscribe button, whatever button is down there that you feel necessary to hit. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.